Hey YouTube, what's going on? I just wanted to bring you guys a really quick update on the things that I've been working on. So I decided that I want I kind of want to change up the the YouTube channel that I've been doing a little bit because you know, I really want to give you guys as much valuable content as possible and I figured that, you know, one of the best ways that I can help you guys is hopefully document a little bit more of my journey and what I've been going through. So some of the things I've been working on is I have a business where I really try to help students and professionals to really better understand their mind. And that's something that I've been really focusing on and I think that it has a lot of valuable content that will certainly help you guys. So, you know, not just the content that I'm putting out through my business, but also what I'm doing to, you know, build the business, what I'm going through, the steps that I'm taking. Because one of the important things that I really want to teach is called the Da Vinci Mindset. And that's totally related to everything that I'm doing with my business and what I want to teach you guys. So what exactly is the Da Vinci Mindset? That's what I really want to quickly talk about in this video. So the Da Vinci Mindset is the idea that you should be learning every single day. You should be learning every week. A lot of people after they graduate from high school or college, they just stop learning. But why is this bad? Because as you progress through life, it turns out that your ability to learn is very, very important. And that is what I want to instill into you guys. And hopefully I can teach you to learn, you know, faster. You know, hopefully give you the enjoyment to actually learn. Because a lot of people, they don't find it enjoyable. And it's because of a lot of the learning habits that they've practiced throughout school. So the first key is to get over these habits and make it enjoyable. And that's what we're going to start with. But once you figure out that you're actually enjoying the learning process, now what I want to help you do is figure out how to actually learn. And that's something that I really want to instill into you with the Da Vinci Mindset. So the Da Vinci Mindset is a willingness to learn every single day. So where exactly did the Da Vinci Mindset come from? Well, you know, it's probably obvious from the name, Leonardo Da Vinci. One of the things that made Leonardo Da Vinci so famous was the fact that he was learning every single day. Leonardo da Vinci is easily the most curious person who ever lived. But why does that matter? Well, let's think about it. What exactly is curiosity? Why is curiosity important? Curiosity is nothing else other than asking questions. So why is the wall beige? Why is the picture frame rectangular? Asking why, 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 why. Asking constant questions. That is all curiosity is. And that's where the learning process starts. So if you're not asking questions, if you're not curious about the world around you, then you're not learning. If you're not learning, you're not growing. You're going to be stagnant. If you're not making enough money, if you can't provide for yourself, for your family, maybe the problem is you aren't learning and growing enough. Now that also takes us down another issue. When you're learning, you also got to take action. A lot of people think that when they're absorbing the knowledge, that's enough. But if you don't take the time, you don't take the initiative to actually practice it in your life, then what is the point? You got to implement it so that it can actually benefit your life. Like for example, a lot of people are getting into entrepreneurship nowadays. So to do this, you know, there's a lot of material you got to learn. Too many people are stuck in the book reading phase. It's called analysis paralysis. So they're reading tons and tons and tons of books but they're not actually implementing what they're learning. And that's the key. But you gotta find a fine line of balance. Because if you're just constantly taking action, you're taking action, you know, that's a good way to learn. But you learn with a whole bunch of arrows in your back. You're gonna break your back. You're gonna make a ton of mistakes. But you can cut out the time that it takes through learning from what other people tell you. So that can come in the form of mentors, that can come in the form of books. The key with the Da Vinci mindset is to use all the resources that you have available to you. Let's look at it this way. You have two options for building a business. One, you can just do it yourself, just jump right in. Or two, you could learn from Bill Gates or Steve Jobs or Warren Buffett. Who would you choose? You know, the answer about is obvious. You're gonna choose Bill Gates, Steve Jobs or Warren Buffett. But when you're working with them, the key is you're taking action. So if you find a book, written by one of these great business giants, one of these great business titans who changed the world, who built, you know, massive businesses, life-changing wealth, not just for themselves, for their employees, for their communities, and their families. You gotta take this book, you gotta read it, of course, you know, you're not gonna get anything out of it if you don't read the stupid book. So you're gonna start by reading it, then you're gonna make sure that you implement everything that you learn as consistently as possible. 
So let me tell you about one of the really quick habits that I found to really help me out that I think will really help you out as well. It's simple. Set a timer for 30 minutes, 25 to 30 minutes. That's it. That's nothing. Then, after this time is up, and, and the key is, I don't want to forget this part, you want to make sure you read during that time or you watch a course, you just learn from something. Then, after the 30 minutes are up, get out a notebook. Then, just make a quick summary of everything that you learned, the most important points. Then, now is the real kicker that a lot of people don't do. Some people do the summarizing, but this is going to be something a little different. Come up with a quick list of 10 possible ideas related to all the information that you learned that you could implement into your life, into your relationships, or into your business. Then the final step, see if you can actually implement these. And it doesn't matter if these are crazy ideas that could never happen. As long as you're coming up with new ideas that are kind of outside of the box, that's exactly what you want. Because you're engaging your creativity, you're recalling the information, which really helps your memory and your learning process. And I will say this, that if you do this, you're going to do way better than people who are just going to read it and then move on. Read it. Think about it. Recall it. Create new ideas. Take action. Then move on. And if you do that, that's going to be the real key. And like the final piece of the Da Vinci mindset that's really going to set you apart from the competition and accelerate your growth. So one of the books that I've actually been working on, and I'm almost done with it, is called How to Study for School and Not Hate It. So my goal for this book is to, you know, give students an introduction to how to make their habits better and save them countless hours. So I'm really excited for this book and I just wanted to give you guys a quick update. That's one of the things that I've been working on. And my goal for this book is to just be like a clean, concise book of powerful techniques, information, and knowledge that students can almost immediately apply. So I look forward to releasing this book. It'll hopefully be out within the next few weeks. I'm just going to have it in a, in a funnel. So one of the things that you know, most businesses are built upon are now sales funnel. Sales funnel. So, you know, if you're interested in this, I, I would definitely love to get you in that funnel because, you know, I have a lot of value that I do want to provide you guys. So if I can get you in that, I think that'd be great for me and that'd be great for you because I want to be transparent. I do have stuff that is very valuable that I, I would like to sell you guys in the future. And it, that's an important skill because, you know, I'm very passionate about what I want to do. I do think that the knowledge and the techniques that I can teach can easily change your life. And it's my duty to really try to convince you of what I'm trying to provide. I want to provide techniques and systems and new habits that will change your learning life. Because you know, the more you learn, the more you earn. And that's a very true statement. But you got to remember, the knowledge you learn, you got to make sure you take action. So with that, I'm going to leave that with you guys for this episode. I really hope you learned something valuable. Let me know how it is. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button, and I'll catch you on the next episode.